Hello everyone out there on the YouTube world. So we're heading out on our road trip tomorrow and I thought it would be great to show you guys how we prep the RV for travel days. The day before, which is today, we will go ahead and start packing some of the knickknacks and things away that can possibly like fall as we're pulling the RV. We have this little plastic bin right here on the floor and we will put pretty much all of these smaller items and the knickknacks. Hey there Ziggy, how are you? You're just kind of chilling and hanging out, aren't you? Aren't you? Look at you. You are just so handsome. Yes, you are. You're so handsome. Do you want to say hi to everybody? You want to say hello? <laughs> good boy. you such a good boy. You bark on command. All I have to do is just point that finger. So, I can't stress enough the most important thing that you want to do first is you obviously want to clear everything off the floor. We have this little storage ottoman and we also have our fun little rug down here. So I'll roll that up like the day before and I'll also put this ottoman and we will just stick it right up under the table and then usually right here in Ziggy's little space. These are his little doggy beds. He loves it right down there. It gives him some privacy. But we'll stick the rug right down there. By the way, we have a new addition. We packed the two dining room chairs under the bed and we got this really, really cool ottoman because we really needed the extra storage, but I'll show you guys that. And right now, I'm pretty much keeping most of my camera equipment. There's some paper towels back there in the back. And Todd put some fabric over the top to uh, make it a little bit more our style. But it's a really, really nice ottoman. So once we get that stuff put away, the other thing that I always remember to do at the very last minute, right before we bring in the slides, right down there is Ziggy's food dish and his water. And I will pick that up off the floor. And then of course, right here, this chair, I will just lie down along with this one. I'll like just put it long ways and put them both down onto the floor. There are straps that hook to the carpet, but I've never used those. They're really not necessary because when this slide is touching up to here, this whole kitchen island pretty much keeps everything right there where it should be in case we even hit a bump or anything like that. So the most important thing, you just wanna make sure that you have everything cleared off the floor because as you're bringing in the slides, you don't want anything that could possibly get up under there and like mess up the rollers or the mechanisms itself. So at that point, once I get everything off the floor, I'll get the little plastic bin and I'll just kind of go around and start putting stuff away. So usually, I'll just start right up over here and I'll just get the little knickknacks that we have and the little shelves. And like I'll take Ziggy's picture down right here. Isn't that such a cute picture? Todd painted that for me maybe about four Christmases ago. But that's one of my favorite, favorite pictures. And if you guys think that that looks really familiar, well, it does because this is what is used for the little bouncing sing-along head in our outro. Anyway, I'm kind of going off topic here. But then I'll get Ziggy's picture. I'll pack down in there as well. And then I'll just kind of come over to this table. Here's my camera bag. Here's my drone bag. And I usually leave my drone right out here on the desk. But then on travel days, I will pack it up and put them right in there and stick them back down in the ottoman. And then we have some little knickknacks over here and we'll stick that down in the bin. We have a humidifier, a dehumidifier, excuse me, and we'll uh, stick that down there. Okay, so then once everything's put over here, and all the small stuff is packed away. That pretty much just gives me the computer. And what I do with the computer is I will actually just unplug it and take it to the bedroom and just lay it face down on top of the bed. And then I'll just kind of put a pillow or two on top of it. So, you know, as we're driving and bouncing around, the computer is like on a nice soft uh, mattress so it doesn't get bothered at all from uh, the traveling. 
so that is not a big issue at all. Now, if you guys were wondering what these were, I've actually got a bunch of these little Velcro straps, and these things are great. Even though all the drawers and the cabinet doors close really, really tight, I don't want to take any chances because right here is the edge of the slide out, and you can see it is not that far from the desk and from the drawers. And then this side of the slide out, look how close that is. I literally have, whoop, it was trying to focus on my finger, sorry guys. I literally have maybe about two inches between the pantry and the kitchen slide. It's so weird how they have this set up because as soon as that slide out starts to engage and come in, it comes in perfectly. I mean, it's close, but it doesn't touch. But my biggest fear is when we're driving and we accidentally uh, hit maybe a pothole or something like that, I always fear that one of these doors could still come ajar. So now, this door is open. I'm bringing out the slides. It's going to grab onto this, tear it off, cause damage. Don't want that to happen. Same thing with the desk drawers right down here. I'm afraid that they could possibly come out. And of course, you can see right here, if that happened while we were driving and then I was bringing out the slides, the slide would actually hit on this and just tear off the drawers. So these little Velcro straps are amazing. And they're really strong. Whoop. Here, I'll take this one. And they're really, really strong. So basically what we will do is just take these and wrap it here. So I can actually put, here, I'll just grab this one. I can actually put two of these together and then I will wrap it around the top two handles and, and pull it really, really tight and it'll keep the drawers from opening. And then the same thing down here, it'll keep the drawers from opening because even if one kind of gets a little bit loose and pulls out, the other one should keep it fairly uh, secure. So it's just kind of a, a backup, even though, yeah, I know, well, what happened if they both came out? Well, that hasn't happened yet, so uh, I, I don't even know if these are really needed, but I don't take any chances. And then we will do the same here, and I will Velcro around these two handles to just keep the doors closed. We have a lock on the fridge. This locks automatically. You have to lift up the bar to unlock it, so we don't really have any concern about the freezer. But I will take the straps and I will put two more right here as well, just for extra security. Now, as far as the kitchen, I don't really worry about any of that kind of stuff as far as the handles, because again, when the slide is in, the kitchen island is gonna kinda keep all this stuff uh, from uh, coming out anyway, because it literally is maybe like that close to the kitchen island when the slides come in. But you'll, you'll see that in a little while too when we bring in the slide outs. And then another cool little tip is a lot of people kind of forget about their microwave, but you can use that for storage. I don't want, you know, my glass plate to kind of like flip around and stuff. So usually what I'll do in here is put like uh, my fruit, uh, I'll put like uh, my loaf of bread, and I'll put lighter and kind of softer items, and I'll usually wrap it in like a dish towel or something, and I'll stick it right up in here, and it will help this from bouncing around, so I don't have to like pack that somewhere else, and it is a great place for extra storage on travel days. And then I've got all my little knickknacks, and usually I'll just put all this stuff in a drawer or something or in the plastic bin. Doesn't really matter. As far as my coffee pot, I will usually just wrap that in a paper towel or in a dish towel, and I will just stick it right down there in the sink. Now, some of you, actually, I have heard, will actually take your sink covers right here, and you'll put them back on on travel days. Personally, I do not do that because I have heard that if you hit a really bad bump, that it can actually bounce off onto the ground and this could shatter 
it can cause damage, scratches, whatever, or worst case scenario, it could get like stuck up under your slide or something like that. So what I do with this is I've got the perfect little spot to put this. The other one right here, the smaller one, I just keep down under the sink, but I'll take the bigger one and I will put it right between the recliner and the wall and it fits perfectly right there. So when we're not traveling and we don't use the stove too much, we usually uh, cook outside as much as we can, especially during the summer, but I'll just put the sink topper right here and check it out. I even have more counter space. Now, if you guys were wondering, look at this. Todd has some regulars at work and they're from England and they usually will come to see him play piano maybe three times a year. And then last night, they brought a bunch of stuff from England. And it's all obviously candy and chocolate. But some of them, you know, look familiar, like there's Cadbury, but this looks really interesting. It's like a peppermint, kind of like crunchy candy bar. Uh, there's Rolos, and then that looks like that might be toffee or, ta or taffy, I'm not sure. And then um, apparently over in England, they like their chocolate, like very milky, like milk chocolate. But anyway, uh, I'm just still trying to figure out where to put this, and I think I'm not going to try and give some of it away too, because uh, we do not need this in the house. <laughs> and moving on, here's our little fruit bowl, and I'll usually throw that in the sink. And then we have, Todd's mom gave us these. We have these beautiful vintage flamingos. And I've got one down here and one down here. And I'll usually just wrap them up in a paper towel and um, I'll either put them in the bin or I'll stick them down in a drawer right down there. And then of course we always uh, remember to retract the TV before we leave. And then just for precaution and for safety, I will go around and just check all of the cabinets and just make sure everything, you know, is behind the lip on the inside of the cabinet and everything's like, you know, packed away really nice and neat uh, where uh, it's very secure. So moving on, it is now time to go up into the bathroom and I'll show you kind of what we do. So this is usually right the day that we leave. I'll get up really early and I'll go ahead and empty the tanks take my, well, I'll take my shower and all that first, and then I'll go ahead and empty the tanks and everything. But right down here, I just have a little plastic container from the dollar store, and I'll just take, you know, the shampoo and all that, and I'll just stick right down there, and I, and I just, literally, I just leave it just down there because, you know, it can slide around, and it's got this little lip right here, so it's not going anywhere. And then, of course, Whenever uh, you leave for travel, you always want to make sure and latch your shower door, especially if you have a glass door like we do. And then I'll just grab the trash can and I'll throw right in there as well. Uh, all the towels I will take down just uh, for precaution. I, d I don't want them like I'm um, accidentally like falling on the floor or whatever, but usually I'll just take the towels and I'll just throw them right in the middle of the shower as well. And then, you know, the toilet paper container and all that. Uh, Todd secured this picture really, really good, so this isn't going anywhere. We'll just leave that there. And then right up in the corner, we have our little automatic air freshener. And so we'll make sure and, you know, and take that down as well. And then, of course, the last thing I'll do is just um, make sure that everything in the cabinets and the medicine cabinet cabinet is secure and where it needs to be and then I will latch the bathroom door right here because you want to latch that too. And then what Todd will usually do, oh actually let me turn on the light so you can see a little better. There we go. And what Todd will do in the hallway is that he'll take the larger pictures and these usually will just go on top of the bed as well. Here's actually a really nice photo of us that some friends had enlarged and gave it to us as a gift. And this was our wedding reception invitation. And of course, there's our marriage license. 
And this was back in my younger and skinnier days. But this is a painting that Todd did of me. So you, again, you guys can see, you know, we, we are very minimal when it comes to even putting stuff on the walls. Uh, we just don't like a lot of knickknacks and things. You know, that was the main reason why we moved from a house into a smaller house, in this case, a fifth wheel, because we just don't want to deal with all the stuff anymore. It's so liberating just not having all of this stuff everywhere. Uh, something, little mod that we did, we got some really pretty uh, command hooks and we put on the wall so we'll actually hang our jackets and, and shirts and little knickknacks will hang on that wall sometimes too. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys, Todd made me this. This is right by the front door. Yes, right under the steps there is shoe storage. Between the both of us, there's not a lot of room up under there. So Todd made me this little shelf right here, this little shoe shelf. So I'll just put all my shoes right down in there. Right when I come in, I'll just put my shoes right here. But of course, on travel days, we will um, put these shoes away, usually throw them in the bin or on top of the bed. And then we'll usually just throw this on top of the bed or we'll just stick it over in between the recliner and the ottoman like uh, we, we did with the rug. So again, very, very simple to do. All right, so we're gonna turn around real quick. Whee! and go into the bedroom. And the same thing, the bedroom's really, really simple to break down for travel days. Well, hello there again, Ziggy. Hello there. Look at that. How are you doing? You just look so handsome from your groomer yesterday. Yes, you do. Now, in here, this is where the computer will go. Pretty much every, uh, you know, the larger stuff that I had already mentioned a few minutes ago. We have this one really big picture right here, and we'll just take that and also throw it right on the bed because uh, even though we can close the bedroom slide, which is here and here, we just don't want to take any chance that the picture could possibly like fall off and, and get stuck when the slide is brought, you know, in on travel days. So we'll just take that off and then. The last thing we'll do is, right here, we'll just pack this stuff away. We have this beautiful little vintage uh, Dragonfly Tiffany lamp that we bought years ago. And this is just one thing that we will never, you know, get rid of. We really, really like it. And then right here is a little knickknack. And this is our wedding cake topper. And then the very last thing we'll do right before we bring in the slides, we'll just do a quick walk around inside the entire RV and we'll just double check one more time. You know, all the doors are closed. You know, that closet's locked. All the dresser doors are closed. We'll make sure and close, you know, the bedroom door. Make sure that everything's locked. Shower locked. Make sure all the doors are closed. So it's pretty much at that point just kind of going around and doing one more triple check to make sure that everything is in its place and put away. And then right before we leave, we'll pretty much keep Ziggy in here until the very last minute because uh, we want him to stay comfortable inside the RV. So at that point, I'll just kind of crank up the AC a little bit cooler and go outside and start doing all of the prepping for the outside. And we are going to go and do that now. So before we go on a trip, I always take the truck into the mechanic and I get everything looked over from top to bottom. So I had an oil change. I had the tires rotated. I had the air pressure always checked and then I also offer to pay but as of now no one has ever made me pay extra which I thought was nice but I always have them top off my DEF fluid as well. I always make sure and keep a little bit uh, handy in case I need it which has never been a big deal filling up myself but I figured why I have it in for service why not just have them do it for me, you know what I mean? But I can't stress enough how important it is to constantly 
follow your manual, and have your truck serviced when it is recommended. Now, I thought what we could do is show you how I have the back of the truck set up first. I have a hitch cover, and I haven't taken that off, but last week I did go in and I took it apart and I lubricated the jaws. I took off the hitch release and lubricated the ball joints, I believe that's what they're called, underneath. So when it's uh, being used, it will help with the rocking and the pivoting and it won't cause as much um, undue stress if you keep all that lubed. The manual for the hitch recommended that you use just good old fashioned white lithium grease. So that's what I use and I also use this on the pen box hitch as well. So that is all taken care of. And I also have the Predator 3500 generator, but I have that covered and bungeed. And you might be able to see here. Yeah, here we go. You can see that chain right there. I have the generator chained and locked to the base of the hitch. So if somebody does try to still it, it will be very difficult for them to do. We will come now over to the patio and I'll kind of show you how we get all that set up and prepped. I'm going to hose off the bikes. I just keep them right here and I'm going to hose them off. I'm going to fill up the tires with air and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to loop up the chains a little bit and then just ride them around real quick. And then I've got my bike mount right here and I will mount up the bikes and everything so they're nice and secure as we're driving down the road. And then over on this side, really the only other things that I need to do, which is the day before, uh, not the day before, the day of when we leave, is just packing up the hose. I'll like pack up the cable and all that and just get everything secure over at our little power station here and just get everything all put away. And then over on this side, I'll show you quickly what we do. And then right over here, a lot of you who have been following our channel, you guys know that we have a little canvas privacy fence slash screen that Todd made and it's completely detachable. So we have already taken that apart. We actually just leave the posts here. No one bothers them. I actually do have some solar lights that I put in between just so people know that there's an area that they have to drive around, but we've never had any problems. But then right here is the canvas from the fence. And then right down here are the actual poles that it attaches to. So we just leave that here and we put the poles and we leave the ladder and we just put all that on top of here. And then we'll use some of the bricks from the fence that you can see there and there and I'll just put the brick down on each corner of the patio mat and that will keep it from blowing around and then a little trick that we do we also put one right here because when we're pulling back in we basically just line the front of the RV to the front of the brick and we know that that is exactly where we want to park. And then I will basically take the chairs, the outdoor chairs, because we actually have folding chairs that we bring with us. So we just leave the patio chairs here. Here's the outdoor table and we just kind of fold that up and I've got it shoved between the planter and we keep these chairs and then right down here I've got the little uh, outdoor table and everything's nice and secure. I kind of push it right down in that that part of the uh, the rocks and then I pretty much will do the same thing over here with the other two outdoor chairs and leave that there that's gonna go in the RV the little trash can and that's really pretty much it everything else that you see is just like left on the patio and we also have really, really nice neighbors, so they will come by on occasion and just, you know, make sure 
that nothing was taken. And then, you know, our neighbor will also come by and if they feel that, you know, our plants need to be watered, they will water the plants as well. But they seem this time of the year, it's kind of the rainy season in Florida. So the plants pretty much do fine without uh, somebody even needing to come over and water them. Now, uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about really fast is the jacks and the tires. Now, I'm not going to go into detail about this because even for any of you who are inexperienced with prepping your RV for travel, all you really want to do is just wipe off your jacks, which is right there, and I will wipe them off with some silicone spray because you don't want like dirt and stuff to be on them because uh, it can get lodged up inside and it can cause problems. So just wipe them off of debris and dirt really good before you retract your jacks, right before you get ready to hit the road. And then a little bit later, I usually do this the day before uh, we leave as well, so I'll be doing this a little bit later this afternoon, but I'll go ahead and just pack away the wheel covers. I will check the wheel uh, air pressure and make sure that that's fine. I will, you know, fill up the tires if they need some air. I'll also go up under and look at the axles and just make sure that everything looks secure, you know, and there's nothing that's standing out that looks kind of weird or whatever. And then the very last thing I'll do is I will get the torque wrench, which I already showed you, and I will torque all of the lug nuts and make sure that everything is properly set to the correct torque. And then that's really, I think, it. You know, as far as last minute stuff, I'll just uh, open up the cargo hold here. I've got an empty bin like right in front where I'll put the power cord and I'll put the wheel covers. I'll throw in the sewer hoses and stuff like that. Obviously, I put my water hose in a different bin dedicated just to it. You never want to mix your sewer hose and your fresh water hose together. You know, kind of just like when you're cooking in your kitchen, you know, you always hear about cross-contamination and that also kind of happens with your sewer hose and your fresh water if uh, you don't pack them separately. Hey everybody, so today is our travel day. I kind of already showed you everything that we did as far as setting up and prepping the RV on the inside and the outside. But as you can see, we have everything cleared. We already brought in the bedroom slide. Now we're gonna bring in the hydraulic slides. And then all we have left is just to do the jacks and hitch up the truck and we're going to be heading out. I hope you learned something from this past video. I know I wasn't in it a lot, but uh, until next time, guys, stay tuned and have a glamtastic day. You want to say bye, Ziggy? Okay. <laughs> bye, bye, guys. So now I'm just going to leave you with a little bit of video of us bringing in the slides for you. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. a comment to say hi if you like us please subscribe and if you don't our little fluffy dog will attack you